The Mastic Mariches Shirley Community Library is just three miles south of Sunrise Highway. It is located at 407 William Floyd Parkway in Shirley, New York. This community library has been a leader in providing innovative services since its creation. Several noteworthy accomplishments include incredible growth, leadership in the field of automation, dynamic children's programming, services for senior citizens, Friends of the Arts activities, and the focus of this video, Literacy Services. The Mastic Mariches Shirley Community Library has recognized the literacy needs of its community since 1988. A grant project developed in 1991 established the Mastic Mariches Shirley Community Library as a satellite office of Literacy Volunteers of America. A program was set in place to serve adults who were seeking assistance with reading, writing, and conversational English. Since 2000, the library's literacy services, specifically English language instruction, have skyrocketed. In that same year, literacy services received almost 100 English first speakers of other languages applications, also known as ESOL. Today, 12 years later, the library receives over 400 requests for English language instruction a year. Here are some of the people that make it possible. My name is Lindsay Davis. I am a teacher. I teach at night uh, to a group of adults two nights a week. And I teach them uh, basic grammar skills, verb usage, and common conversation and daily living skills. Barry Sanford. I tutor one class a week, a group of usually about 20 women, and I also work one-on-one -on -one with uh, mothers who need help with their children's homework. They don't understand the assignments. Carmen Navarro Gao. I've been here for more than 10 years. I came here to this town, Shirley. I moved from Queens and the first thing I stepped in to visit was the library. And I just, I remember I, I, somebody was talking at the supermarket about the English classes. So I came in and I remember I stopped at the reference desk and uh, I asked for an application for English classes and they very kind people there gave me the application. At that time I couldn't speak much English. So I just fill it out and then from that day on, I'm here in the program. My name is Beth Donovan. I am the Literacy Coordinator at the Mass Center to Shirley Community Library. I've been here since 1992. I've seen the program grow tremendously over that period of time and I truly love my job. Carrie Rosalia, I'm the Director of Mass Center to Shirley Community Library. These are just some of the current members of the Mastic Mariches Shirley Community Library Literacy Program. My name is Ana Lara. My name is Luisa Patito. Silvestre Hernandez. My name is Miriam Parrija. Uh, Frankie Cruz. My name is Nubia Mayancena. Nelson Lasso. My name is Natalia. And this is my mother Nina. Nermin Cosi. My name is Carmen Work. My name is Marta Montes. They all share the desire to become an active part of the community. The hardships they faced were intensified because English was not their native language. Most of them spoke little or no English when they first came to this country. They couldn't communicate to find work, talk to someone at a store, or properly discuss medical situations. Hardships that most of us have never encountered. Now, try to imagine you're in a strange place and you cannot talk to or understand anyone around you. You cannot ask for help at a store, cannot talk to your child's teacher about their progress. If your child needs medical assistance, you wouldn't be able to communicate with the doctor during any type of emergency. Can you, looking back, is there anything that comes to mind like of like, uh, of the adjustment period where you felt like maybe it was like too tough, like maybe where you thought it wasn't worth it? Like is there any particular incident that maybe happened, like maybe you went to get a job and you couldn't or anything like that? Um, the first week that I started to work in a factory where my aunt was working, uh, she told me, you don't have to speak here, uh, don't say anything, uh, because um, 
was oh, I, I work without the papers. Oh, okay. It okay. was illegal here. And I was really afraid. I and I don't speak for just almost ten to eight to ten hours. Oh wow, so you would just sit at work and not speak for eight <laughs> yes. to ten hours. I was just, there anyone else at the job also who was in a similar situation? Yes, there was yes. And they were and all of you would just not talk the whole entire day? Wow, that's tough. That's a that's a long day. Are you okay? You alright? Do you want me to get you tissue or anything? Do you want me to get you tissue? Do you want me to get you something? I'll get a tissue. I'll get a tissue.